Hey everybody, Ben with Classic Firearms here. Today is Tuesday, May the 16th, and we have a very special lot of surplus rifles for you today, something that you don't see all the time. Certainly in my number of years in the firearms business, I've seen very few of these. What we have for you today is Argentine Mausers. Now we have two different types. We have a very small quantity of the early one, the 1891 Argentine Mauser. Did I get it right this time, Matt? That's right. All right, second take on this, folks. I said it wrong the first time. The 1891 Argentine Mauser. Come on in and we'll look at that, and then we'll show you the 1909s. But we have a very small quantity of these in two different grades. This is the fair, and we did that based on the, judge, uh, the grading of the importer. You can see the F code there meaning fair overall surplus condition. Frankly, I think they may have downgraded that a little bit to me for a rifle that's over 100 years old. This is better than fair, but uh, we're gonna sell it that way because that's what they caught it. And then we have a couple in good condition. Again, these are the 1891 Argentine Mauser. This is in a 7.65 by 54 caliber. So don't confuse that with what the M9130s or the M39s fire. It's not a 7.62 by 54R. It is a 7.65, which is basically a 32 caliber, but a rifle sized bullet, 32 caliber diameter on a 54 millimeter cartridge casing. So 7.62 by, excuse me, I did it again. I did it myself, 7.65 by 54. Matt, let's take a look at some of the more moderns. If you call a 1909, more modern, still well over a hundred years old. Argentine Mausers made in Germany, is that correct, Mac? On contract for the Argentine government. You can see the Argentine crest on this receiver. We will not guarantee that on all the receivers, folks, because some, just because of the age and the wear on the receiver, you don't show it. Some may have been scrubbed, I'm not certain. Some have been drilled and tapped for some type of original scope mount, as you can see there. Some are not, most are straight bolt, but we have seen a bent bolt or two. Other than the ones that we have on the table, which we feel like is gonna be a fair sampling, folks, we have not opened all the boxes. So, like a box of chocolates, what you get is you're gonna find out when you open the box with these, but we do know how they're graded. It will either be the fair or good, or excuse me, fair or very good in the earlier ones, the 1891s, and then in the later ones in the 1909s. We have fair, a few fair cracked, and then we have good and a few good cracked. We're not gonna sell them with the cracks being a consideration as old as these are. If there are cracks, they're gonna be very minor. So we're just gonna sell them and say, you know, it's either fair or good, and expect the possibility of a small stock crack in these somewhere. Matt, other than the price, can you think of anything else? Uh, no, I don't think I have. I can think, I think you covered everything pretty well. Okay, very good. Let's go to pricing. On the fair rifles, either the 1891s or the 1909s, we're going to do those at $319.99 with a $30 upgrade to $349.99. On the goods or very goods. If you'll just type in the keyword Argentine into the search engine, these will come right up on the site. We hope you take advantage of them. They are a great piece of history, folks. And as always, thank you for being with us at www.classicfirearms.com.